Hi everyone, my name is Josh Schaefer and today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a new pad from an existing one. Normally the best thing to do if you have a damaged pad is to have it replaced by a professional repairman. However, if for some reason you don't have the time and you happen to have the resources, then this technique may come in handy. A disclaimer, once you install a new pad, you will need to adjust the key and possibly others to remove any leaks. This is a complicated process and should only be done if you know how to adjust the saxophone. So here's an overview of a couple things that you will need for this process. First I've got the damaged pad here. And then I'll need a larger pad and this needs to be in pretty good condition. You can have small uh, marks on the outside here, um, but preferably it needs to be fairly new. Here is a small spatula like tool. Um, this is an old butter knife that I ground down and this will be used to iron the leather. And some scissors for cutting the leather, a toothpick or a small uh, something you can use for the glue and this is Elmer's style glue and some pliers and I've got my torch here um, but you can just use a regular lighter or any kind of uh, anything that heat the iron here So first, you're gonna to need to disassemble the damaged pad. And you can do that by pulling out the metal resonator pins in the back here, if you can see. So you take the pliers and pinch them and pull them out. And I'll show you in a second. And this needs to be in fairly good condition when you pull it out because we'll be using the felt, the card, and the resonator. So I'll go ahead and push this out here. There you go. And then you will take the leather and remove the leather from the card. Once you're done with that, you can discard the leather. So you have the card and the felt, and you want to keep that with the resonator here. Then you're going to do the same with the large pad, and you want to make sure the leather is in good condition because you'll probably be discarding the rest of the stuff. Carefully remove the leather and peel it back. So now we have the felt, card, and small resonator for the small pad that you'll be replacing and the big piece of leather. So one thing I forgot to do before disassembling the large pad was ironing out the leather, which is probably easier when the pad is still assembled. So what I'll do here is I'll take my torch and I have to be very careful not to heat the iron part too much. So do this. and then gently go over the creased areas. So as you can see, right now, 
the top part is a little smoother than it was before. And when you stretch the pad out, it'll kind of go back to normal. So you can see the crease in the top of the pad there. The crease is gone. go. So once you've got your final materials together, what you will need to do is take the felt and card and line it up with the hole here. and then bend the leather over and mark about where it was with the smaller pad. So I'm gonna say about here. i do that with the other side as well. And this doesn't need to be precise. It can be, you can eyeball it if you want to. But just to be careful because if you cut too much, there's no going back. So now I know about where I need to cut the leather and it's just beyond where it was folded over in the old on the old pad there. So what I'll do is I'll cut in here. And since this is kind of a temporary thing, you don't need to make it real pretty. Just make sure it's somewhat round. Check it again. All right. It's looking pretty good. Now you're going to want to put the resonator back in. There we go. Now take the pliers and bend the resonator pins back out just slightly. You don't need to have them out. You don't have to have them the way they were before because what you can do is take something flat and just push it back down. Just like that. Careful not to compress the leather. I almost did that. Yeah, perfect. There you have it. Almost done. So the last step to finish the pad up is going to be gluing the leather to the card in the back. And this is by far the trickiest part in my opinion. I'm not very good at it, so please bear with me. And what you're gonna do, the basic idea is you're gonna take the pad, fold it over, and then fold it over on itself. I don't know if you can see that there. And continuously do that and try to get as many folds as you can. keep from getting these corners. And after each fold, you're going to want to take the Elmer's glue and the toothpick and apply 
the glue to the back to make sure it's sticking. So let's get started. Let's see if I can do this. We've got this nifty little container here. Maybe I don't need the toothpick. Okay, there you go. It is glued for the most part and it's staying in one spot. And if you noticed, it's raised a little bit, so that might be an issue. You might need to apply a little more shellac or heat glue. But as you can see, the pad is complete. There's some corners here, but I've used one of these in my saxophone and it's not an issue. So I hope this was helpful and please let me know if you have any questions.